very warm welcome to the second and final day of uh, Billion Dreams 2024, the Return to India hiring event and conference for NRIs. Thank you for joining us today. It is with great honor that I introduce our distinguished keynote speaker for the day, Dr. Vivek Mansingh. Dr. Mansingh is a Stanford alumnus and a global leader who's made a huge impact as an entrepreneur, venture capitalist, and author. With accolades like Chanukya Innovative Leadership Award and, and being named the IT Man of the Year, his career speaks volumes about his dedication and vision. He is currently a general partner at Your Nest Venture Capital, where he is focused on scaling Indian tech entrepreneurs to international heights. His remarkable work in software, AI, and digital products is helping to shape the future of technology in our country. Today, he will reveal more about his own return to India journey, how he battled the challenges and seized the opportunities that came his way. More importantly, he'll show you how to do the same. Here's the man himself, Dr. Vivek Mansingh. Over to you, sir. Thank, thank you, Avinash. Thank you for all the attendees uh, who have joined us. Uh, my understanding is that you are all interested in exploring India option and so uh, the best thing I could do was to walk you through my journey which hopefully will inspire you as well as it will answer some of the questions that you may be having uh, regarding this move. So let me begin. Uh, I can't see you but hopefully all of you can see me and, uh, and hear me. So let me begin my journey. Um, Right now, I'm 68 years old, guys. So um, I have been there, done that. Whatever you are planning to do, either here or there or from there to here. So you will find interesting anecdotes in my journey. So let me begin from the beginning. I come from a very small city called Fatehpur in UP, which you probably don't even know. It's actually a city next to Kanpur, you know Kanpur IIT. So you probably know that it's a small city there. I am a Hindi school product. I up to grade 12, I went to Hindi school and actually up to grade 10, I was sitting on the ground. That, that's the government college. In which it was. Um, after 12, when I gave IIT entrance exam, th that, that is the first time I saw a paper in English. And obviously, I did not know, you know, many things and so on. I, I, I failed uh, to come in IIT. Um, but then I succeeded in uh, NIT and I joined NIT Allahabad, did my mechanical engineering. From there, I was an average sports person. I played badminton with Prakash Padukone and so on, if you remember the name at all. Um, and I, um, I was a gold medalist from uh, Allahabad. I immediately got a scholarship to go and do my master's and PhD from Queen's University in Canada in mechanical engineering. And then after that, my career began in California, Cupertino with Hewlett Packard. This was 1986-87 time frame. Um, HP was my first job. I not only got to do some exciting work, but also uh, filed my first patent there for HP and uh, got to interact with David Packard and with Hewlett as well. Uh, I'll tell these instances if there is a question later, but uh, in the interest of time, I'll skip some of the stories that are very interesting, but I'll skip for now. So, got a chance to work with David Packard and Bill Hewlett as well. At that time, 1987, uh, when I had joined Hewlett Packard, after PhD, my salary was $45,000. And living in California, the California houses were even at that time $200,000, $250,000. So I said, look, this is not going to cut it. I made a goal that at the age 40, I was 30 years old at that time. I want to be financially independent. Now, I want to illustrate the power of goal to you, right? Now, what could I do? I had a one year old child. I had a wife who was a homemaker. I didn't have green card. I didn't have money of any kind to do startup. So what could I do? But see, this is the power of goals. The option came that, okay, while I cannot give up the job at HP, 
what if I invent something that is not related to my work and license it to some company and earn through that? And that idea was wonderful. I spent days and nights at Stanford Library. And within a year, I developed an instrument which I licensed to a Boston company called Cambridge Acquisitions, and I became financially independent. Interesting story. Uh, more you can read in my book. Um, after that, uh, I joined uh, Fujitsu in California itself, in Bay Area itself. I joined Fujitsu and I joined it with a purpose. I wanted to learn marketing and sales. And uh, uh, I became director of marketing and sales and we sold Fujitsu's electronics packaging products across many companies like Intel and so on. Uh, then um, I started my own uh, startup, uh, an engineering services company in 1997. It was uh, acquired by a company called Avid. And during this time, I filed several patents. So I have six US patents and I had contributed to two technology books, um, etc. So my startup was doing well and uh, I hired a bunch of wonderful people, PhDs from Stanford to actually do some very innovative work. During that time, I got a chance to work with Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs came to, uh, to Apple the second time. And uh, you all may know that lots of products Apple was doing at that time. Steve stopped most of them and he said, let's focus on three products. One of the first product he focused on was iMac. And I was part of the team and I got a chance to work with Steve. And actually, I'm speaking to you from my office opposite on the wall. There is a poster of iMac where Steve has said, Vivek and team couldn't have done without you signed Steve Jobs. It's right opposite there. So got a chance to work with Steve. Then in 2000, uh, my mother developed some health issues. Uh, we took her to Stanford Hospital. Uh, they were living in India. They were just visiting us. We were living in Saratoga in Bay Area. My brother was also there working for Oracle. And we took her to Stanford Hospital. Stanford Hospital, after checking, said that she has six months to live. Uh, my mother was shocked. My father was shocked. And um, we were shocked too. But uh, it was very clear that uh, they needed help. So that evening, I talked to my wife. I talked to my son. My older son was in eighth grade. My younger son was in fifth grade. We discussed among ourselves and we said, let's go to India. No job. City we selected by two criteria. One was uh, a potential job for me and lots of international schools because my both sons were uh, big enough that they couldn't go to local, local school. So we landed in Bangalore. I did not know a single person in Bangalore. No job, no contact. Next day, we landed in uh, international school for my children's admission. And like typically in India, they said, who do you know in Bangalore? And I said, nobody. Okay. Sorry for that. Can you hear me, Avinash? Yes, yes, sir. Don't know what happened, so I'll continue. So uh, I was saying that only thing I told the, the principal that look, I can care for my parents. I have, have no right for my children to sacrifice their education and experience. And principal gave the admission, rest is history. They studied here. I landed up with a job with a company called Jasmine Networks was a U.S. startup in optical.
Okay, I am there. Avinash, can you hear me? Yes, sir. We can hear. You. Okay. I'm sorry. I don't know what is happening. Never happened before. So anyway, Jasmine Networks. Then I joined. I started building their team. And 2000 came. The optical networking meltdown happened, and Jasmine went out of business. Um, and I was without a job again in Bangalore. And then I found another job with Portal Software. Um, uh, so sorry, with the Shoni Networks. Uh, it was another US India startup, and I built the team there. The company was bought by uh, by, by Philips. Later on. Uh, I joined Portal Software, which was bought by Oracle, and so on. On the personal front, during this time, my mother lived for two, two and a half years, not six months, because we were all together uh, with grandchildren around her. Um, she lived for two and a half years, and we got some homeopathic medicine that helped her. When she passed away, all of us, and my brother also came back from Oracle. By the way, he was also in Bay Area. He also came back. When my mother passed away, all children were on the side of my mother. Right? I want to highlight it because many, many of my friends are now repenting this fact. Who are living in U.S. That why we couldn't do what you did today. Okay, I'll keep moving. And so then after that, my father went into depression essentially, and uh, it was tough. But thank God we were here. We got him active on the social side. He started helping children with corrective surgeries and all of that. And he lived with us for another uh, 10, 15 years. Uh, we had great time living uh, with him and spending time with him. Uh, in uh, He also passed away after uh, 10 odd years. And again, all of us were around his bed when he was living. Again, I'm very, very proud of that. And I. Uh, highlight one more point there that when I retired from Cisco at the age 60, um, in India there is a retirement age, by the way. So if you don't know, 60 is the retirement age, and uh, John Chambers uh, and I were close. And John said, Why don't you move to the US? There is no retirement age there. And I said, No, my father is 80, 80 plus years, I do not want to uh, move. And so I, I again chose relationships and parents uh, against any money and uh, professional opportunity. Now, what happened to my children? The second concern you all have is what did the children do? Well, my children, my older son, uh, after grade 12 year, went to Berkeley. Now, let me share the news that even his classmates from Saratoga schools, only maybe one, one kid got to Berkeley. So my son uh, got to Berkeley, he did his undergrad there. My other son went to Babson, then they both did MBA in the US. Uh, older son did from University of Michigan and younger son did from, um, from uh, Duke University in North Carolina. And both are now married, both uh, the, the, their partners are of Indian origin. They, the, the older son is married to a girl from uh, Noida and the younger one is married to the guy from um, Jammu, right? So I think that's the family side. And I am so proud of the fact that I was able to make some tough decisions. So not only I was uh, I was fair to my parents, I was also fair to my children. Okay, then, um, then after that, uh, Dell, I worked with Michael Dell. Michael pulled me into Dell. I worked in Dell for five years. Then after that, uh, Cisco, John Chambers pulled me into Cisco. I built some amazing R&D centers. Today, Dell has at least 20,000, if not 30,000 engineers working. And Cisco has over 12,000 engineers working. So a lot of satisfaction uh, in terms of building and creating jobs in India. Uh, when I retired from Cisco, I was at 60 and I gave myself few goals that I want to talk to you about now. Number one goal was to help create five unicorns from India in technology and product space so that India is also known for product. That's why I I started uh, Your Nest Venture Capital. We fund Indian startups in product and technology space. My goal number two was to create 50,000 jobs in India. My goal number three was to mentor a million people. Nobody has mentored a million people 
anywhere in the world. So I, how was I going to do it? That is why I wrote a book on achieving meaningful success. Hopefully you can see it is, it is uh, on the shelf behind, which is called Achieving Meaningful Success, Unleash the Power of Me. Uh, the book has already impacted half a million people and another uh, Hindi edition of the book is requested from Government of India as well as some non-profit institutions and that should be coming up in a month or so. So that's my third goal, fourth goal, fifth goal, sixth goal and so on. I, I don't want to go there. So now, in while one piece I want to add to, to you. While in India, you have an amazing opportunity to impact a lot of lives. I was giving back in US also, but it's different magnitude when you try to do that in India. Let me give you some examples. So I have built a hospital in the city I come from, at Fatehpur. It has an ICU, a maternity ward, and, and the hospital is there. I built an eye hospital there. I run a handicapped children school. I run another school for the less privileged people. I am on the board of several profit and non-profit organizations. So throughout this last 20 odd years in India, I have been giving back in, 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 in big way. And currently I am trustee of one of the top non-profits of India called Janagraha. You can check it out on the, on the website. So that's my uh, life up to this point. Have had a great time uh, in India. Uh, challenges were also there. Uh, opportunities were also there and uh, here is what I will tell you uh, and then I will want to show you a couple of slides. Uh, coming to India is like an entrepreneurial journey. You cannot solve every problem before you come to India. Don't try to do that. A definition of entrepreneur for me is uh, an entrepreneur jumps from the building and assembles his or her parachute on his way down, right? You cannot stand on the building and try to assemble your parachute and what happens if this happens, what happens if this. Have faith in God, have good intention, be willing to work hard and India gives you the opportunities that you can't even think of. Let me just show you a couple of slides to highlight my journey and then I'll open for questions. Um, Avinash, tell me when you can see the see my things here. Just give me one second. Give me one. There's just a couple of slides. Can you see it, Avinash? Yes, I can Avinash, see that. Can you see it? Yes, yes, oh, I can see. So key, key milestones I want to summarize so that you all can capture it. So here is my family before we came to India. You can see both my sons. You can see me, my wife, my parents. Um, and then here is my family now. Parents are, of course, are missing. I have two sons, two daughter-in-laws, uh, all from Indian origin, if that concerns you, and a cute granddaughter I have. So huge achievement of my moving to India is family. And in my opinion, family comes first. I work with the best. I work with David Packard, Bill Hewlett, Michael Dell, John Chambers, and Steve Jobs, as I talk about some of them during my talk. I was rewarded professionally to books, six US patents, and an instrument I invented, lots of awards, including who's who of United States, and IT Man of the Year. 2016 for India. Interacted with the best. In one of the chapters of my book, I have interviewed 11 people who I admire. And these are the people, Narayan Murthy, Ratan Tata, John Chambers, Rahul Ravid, Dr. Devi Shethi, Kiran Majumdar, and so on. So interacted with the best. Very, very rich life I have lived. I gave back in a big way. I'm inaugurating the host, my mother's name. The eye clinic is on the other side, that is in my father's name. You can see some pictures from that hospital that saved lots and lots of lives during COVID because they had oxygen and ICU and things like that. Um, I uh, help children with corrective surgery and there are 300 children today who are walking like us, who are walking like literally like animals before. So much difference you can make to them. Here is what I talked to you I'm in process of creating five unicorns from India. Some of the names are on the right hand side. They are in a very early stage, but I am, I am very sure that out of these six 
three at least will become unicorns globally by through global products. I will create 50,000 jobs before I retire and I'm mentoring a million people and so on. And here is the book I wrote. Um, Mentor a Million was my objective as I explained. Um, this book, all of 100% of the book profit is going for eye surgery of the poor. And any one has a question after reading the book can go to my website and ask question that is free profits are for social impact so this is my story guys this is meaningful success to me the title of the book is meaningful success what is meaningful success is to lead multi-dimensional life which is fair to all stakeholders in your life and then you feel so happy and uh, your life is no regrets. Today, if you ask me, do I have regrets? I have zero regrets. My, my uh, colleagues in US who have stayed there, many of them have shared with me the regrets that they have. So think through, be brave, be courageous, engage with me on social media if you have any questions and be entrepreneur. You have one life. Do whatever you feel like and make it work. So with that, let me stop sharing and I will be available for answering any questions you have. So Avinash, that's my story. Um, very, very inspiring, um, Dr. Vivek Man Singh. Uh, in fact, one life wouldn't be enough to achieve so much, uh, I feel. Uh, uh, in fact, uh, the, the key takeaways for me, of course, is the family piece, the live life multidimensional and 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 then you know have no regrets at the end of the you know end of your life you shouldn't have any regrets um, i think these are the key takeaways for me for sure uh, and 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 family uh, you know i think uh, it's so important uh, you know in your entire walk uh, of life so kudos to that and guys my book is available in us uh, through amazon I would encourage you to read the book. I talked about chapter one of the book. Then, then it takes you to uh, help you achieve the impossible. And how do you do that? Enjoy the book. As I said, the book profits are going to a good cause. I'm not trying to earn any money by selling the book, but read that. OK, other questions. So I do see some questions here. Avinash, can I start answering them? Please, 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 sir. OK. So question number uh, one from Samira is, what is your advice for other returning professionals, sir, to create the kind of impact you did in India? Come, make a difference. Don't hesitate. Um, you all have gone there. Let me tell you, going there is also tough. Very difficult to, uh, to sort of finish your studies, get a job, get the green card, do all. That's not easy journey either. But this is your country and this is where your relatives are. I'll tell you another big benefit of our coming back. We got connected to our larger families. So many cousins and so many other people. My children are connected to cousins. My children know cricket. My children know Bollywood. They are as Indian as American. And all that is, is very pleasing to see. We, we didn't give any culture back for just earning money. So, Samira, um, Join me on social media, ask any question you have there, but don't try to solve all the problems. And also for all the people who want to come, don't think India, you, you are doing a favor to India. If you think that, don't come. India has enough of Stanford's and Harvard's and um, PhDs and masters and MBAs. So come as an Indian and make a difference to India and lead a happy life. That is why you would come. Take care of your parents. Your children will not be hurt. Let me guarantee you. Most people hide behind their children. What will happen to their education? I give me a break here. My children went to the colleges that their colleagues from California could not go. All right. So all these problems are there. But that is what we are. If you are afraid of solving the problem, then you don't have entrepreneurial gene in you. Develop it and come to India. Sayan Bose, apart from money or a job destination, what are other factors that NRI should consider to make move back to India? As I said, uh, don't think that India is ready to roll out a red carpet for you. I think you will have to work hard. There are very smart people here too. 
So don't think you have a feather in your cap. You also work hard. Meritocracy is there in multinationals and in other companies. And now entrepreneurial journey are there. The brightest in India today are not actually going to US. Every day I meet a startup, which is started by IIM, IIT, and top institution people who had offers to US. They are not going to US. They are actually here to build startups and so on. So, uh, and family part I have emphasized, impact part I have some, and in no way your career is affected. Let me tell you, I don't want to talk about money, but I live, uh, Avinash has visited me. I live in the most expensive area of Bangalore. In a Bangalore that is three times bigger than my Saratoga house. So it's not like I missed on money part either. You can do well financially. You can do well in other aspects of your life. Just be prepared. Don't come and complain about traffic. We know traffic is bad. You need to manage it. But I can tell you 10 things in US that are bad and you are managing them. But there you don't complain. Here you complain. So that complaining attitude should go away. That's why I'm saying you have an entrepreneur. An entrepreneur never complains. They solve problems. They don't complain. You need to become that. Another question. I'm sorry, I, I have to keep going because there are a lot of questions here. Sir, the brain gain trend is gaining momentum, but is brain brain reducing? The answer is yes. I meet startups every day. Uh, these, these students from IIT Bombay, so two startups I'll give you an example of. One is Nico, one is Rosie. Both are started by IIT Bombay guys. Both are heading for Unicorn. How many of you are heading for a company that is going to become a Unicorn? That opportunity is here. Or would you say the Indians should continue seeking global opportunities that is ultimately at the richest? So it's your call. It's not my job to tell you uh, whether to stay in US or whether to come to India. All I am telling you is that all this faltu things that you think about India are just for weak, timid people. You are strong. That's why you have made it there. You can do it here as well. But then don't expect obvious to change. Like I said, so many people, one expat I wanted to bring at Dell, he complained about traffic to me for seven days every morning. I sent him back. I withdrew his offer. I said, boss, I can't babysit you. I'm coming from the same traffic. My son and children are going to schools with the same traffic. Why are you crying? It is what it is. It is a developing country. That's why the opportunities are great. So that is the answer to that. Ram Krishna uh, Parmeshwaran has, how does one connect with such great humanities like Steve Jobs, like you have? So read my book, right? You have to have excellence. I became, I cut that story short, but I became number one in my field in the United States. That is how Steve connected me. So I didn't connect to Steve, Steve connected to me and said, would you want to work with my team to actually help me do this? And yes, I did. And it's not just him, Michael Dell, I'm still in touch, George Chambers, I'm still in touch, and so many other people. So that is up to you. And India doesn't stop the show there. I am I I am in touch with Michael Dell. I never worked for Michael Dell in the US, but only in India. John Chambers also I worked in India, and I am in touch with John Chambers. So all these people will respect you when you have something unique to offer, when you can enrich them. Read the book; it tells you what to do. Messages from audience will display here. Okay, so these are the questions that I can answer. Any other questions, guys? My screen is full, so I can see only these many questions. If not, my last two minutes, Avinash, uh, guys, um, if you want to lead meaningful life, if you want to lead, lead a regret-less life, family is a very big part of that. Regrets are about families. You will never regret, like Obama said, when I'm dying, I'm not going to think about what... Uh, what uh, legislation I passed in Congress, I will be worried about where my daughters are and so on, right? So it's about family. You can't take care of family by living in US. Easily. All Indians are very dedicated to their family, but it's not easy. When your father is 90 years old, they don't need a phone call. They need hand on their shoulder. 
So pay attention to that point number one. Point number two, you don't have to actually pay price in uh, career. You can do as well or better actually in career here. You will have to work hard. You will have to prove yourself, but that option is there. And then by giving uh, back in many, many ways, you can create impact for thousands of lives, right? Um, I'm, I'm now counting people in hundreds of thousands. How many of you can do that in US? And I'm well connected in US. If you think I'm not connected in US, I'm well connected in US. Um, and I just say, make one point uh, more of an ash. Many of you know Desh Desh Pandey. Desh Desh Pandey um, he started several companies. He sold those companies. He's a multi-billionaire. He gave MIT a lab and IIT Madras a lab. So he he's from my alma mater. He has done PhD from the same school where I have done, that is Queen's University in Canada. Uh, I'm a Thai charter member. And, and in one of the charter member meets in uh, Kuala Lumpur, Desh Desh Pandey asked all charter members, guys, you are very expert in valuation. Can you calculate the value of what Vivek did for his parents. This is not me. This is a person who has tens of billions of dollars saying that. So the, the point is, do right things when the time is with you. When the time runs out, everyone has the same end. So with all that, guys, join my social media. Ask me questions there. Uh, if you uh, if you feel like and Avinash, I'll stop unless there is a question from. One there's a there's a last question which is coming in. How can returning NRIs differentiate the value they bring in compared to talent available within the country? Since most companies perceive a higher joining time if they were to hire an NRI. Uh, I think companies are open. I mean, I have bought brought hundreds of people in my last twenty years from US and. Um, uh, so they will allow you time to come. Um, differentiate value, definitely. Now, you will be coming at a senior level. Let us say you, I want to hire you as a director at Cisco. I will have the same qualification criteria whether I'm hiring here or there. But your exposure is very valuable to me. If you have worked in Cisco or in some other company, Google or some other company in US, your exposure is very important. Your uh, your ethics are very important to me. Your uh, commitment is very important to me. Um, your ability to understand product management, understand the customer requirement, and be able to uh, create value in the company. Those are very important skills other than the special technology skills. So I think all of these skills are important to me. Uh, and I've hired lots of people from US, by the way. So, um, so come with confidence and whatever you don't know, develop it. Guys, with AI, let me tell you, if you are average and below, your job is gone in the next two years, no matter where you are. So you have to be above the 50% mark. And if you are above the 50% mark you in US or India, you will do very well in your career. Um, and I will also tell you the last four very, very senior people. Um, if you are a vice president or above in a multinational in India, your salary is more or less same. So imagine you are buying power. Your salary is same as in London or Singapore or in US. So depending on how senior you are, you can um, enjoy that perk as well. One more last question has come. Uh, it says, uh, Dr. Man Singh, thank you for sharing your story. Very curious about your book. How long? I can't see the bottom of that way. How long, How long did, it, did, take it, did to... it take me to do it? Yeah. So so that has a 30 second story, right? So COVID came. Uh, I have given talks all over the world, guys. So on innovation, on uh, leadership, all over the world, at every major university, every major company I've given talk. So every time when I gave a talk, a question came to me. If I have to read one book, Dr. Man Singh, what that will be? And I always struggle to answer that question. I am an avid reader. You can see, see books behind me. So when COVID came, actually my wife suggested that travel bandho gaya hai, ghar se bahar nikal nahi pa rahe. Why don't you write your book now? And I started writing the book and it finished within a um, year and a half during COVID itself. Before the COVID second uh, phase uh, left, uh, my book was complete. The book was, and I, uh, 
actually every publisher wanted that book by the way um read the book the 11 people how did i get them to interview ratan tata narayan murthy dr uh, devi shetty all one 11 indias who's who are there so i completed the book in a year and a half hindi edition is coming like i said the book has already impacted half a million people it is published by penguin it is available in us enjoy read it will also inspire you to do a lot of things and show you the path to actually achieve your goals no matter how difficult the goals look actually i talk about how you make goals very different difficult and then make it happen so i've taken a lot more time than i was allowed to guys um uh, avinash you take over from here sure thank you so much so very inspiring uh, dr vivek man singh your story uh, and and i'm sure uh, you know you inspired a lot of people uh, personally for me very very inspiring in terms of um, you know like i mentioned the way you kind of put family first above everything else um, and uh, it was indeed lovely listening into you and thank you for your time and uh, i would urge in fact i've kind of got a copy of your book and i've kind of uh, you know done that and i would urge all the listeners here to kind of uh, get a copy of it and uh, read through it's very very inspiring and uh, the story uh, that uh, sir just narrated uh, you know uh, is elaborated there and uh, there's so much more to learn from uh, the book uh, you know so i would urge you to kind of uh, take a look at that uh, thank you so much sir for your time once again it was lovely having you thank here you. thank you avinash thank you everyone else and uh, guys whoever are listening go after achieving meaningful success not success and book explains that god bless you all go and make a difference to india as well even if you are there or here india should come first thank you bye bye